Heads up. Looks like we got another customer. It's Badger. This is like a real job. This is taking away my enjoyment. Unless the pay's good. In which case, I'll do it. Howdy, sir. Howdy. I just done broke the bank over at the Wrangler there and thought I might peruse your fine wares. Maybe lighten my purse a little? Certainly, sir. We need to pat you down for weapons first. Now, hold on here. I'm not packing any heat. Ain't my word good enough for you? Nice. I'm sure you're a man of your words, sir, but we still need to pat you down. No exception. I suppose it's all right if there's Free XP. no other choice. He's clean. See, told you so. Don't make me put a plasma bolt through your backside. He didn't hear that, obviously. Don't screw it up. Looks like that guy. Who's that guy? That guy. I can have my uh, companion here put a bullet through his head from about a thousand paces. So, if he's a problem, don't worry about it. Oh, he doesn't get paid either. Boom does it all for free, because he likes killing. Is it always this boring? Howdy. Hey, looking for something to replace my old revolver. Mind if I head in? Sorry, we're going to have to search you first. That's not really necessary, is it? It is. I already told you I got this here revolver, right? It's company policy. Now, are you going to let us search you or what? Damn, I knew this wasn't going to work. Over here! <laughs> what in the hell do you suppose that was about? Help me clean this up. No one's going to want to shop here with the corpse out front. Hey, Boone, that's my spot. Crap. This I do not need today. Keep your head straight, Ricky. Things are about to get interesting. Is that one of the king's guys? Boone, you're in my spot. Hey, it's a powder puff. Hey, Simon. How's it hanging? Hey, sir. Looks like you've got a little helper today. What can I say? Business has been good lately. You can afford the help. Good to hear, buddy. So is the boss lady in? You know she is. Why don't you go in and say hi? Nah, I got some rounds to run. But do pass along that I'm always thinking of her. Actually, I got a better idea. Make the new hire tell her. You'll do that for me, won't you? So the customer service in me says, sure, I'll pass it along and then just don't tell her. No, well, sure, I'll pass it along. That's a good dog. Well, I'm out of here. Later, Simon. Way to keep your head, rookie. There's hope for you yet. I could still end him. It's just about closing time. Let's go see the boss about getting paid. Oh, I'm gonna need the rifle and armor back. Boss's orders. Sure. I have got my... No, 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 no. Wrong button. Seriously, game? You don't equip my... Good job, I checked. Boom, stay there. Welcome to the Silver Rush. New Vegas' best source of laser He's and plasma just weapons. He's just coded to just say that then, isn't he? Right, Gloria. Simon's been telling me how it went. Let's do a quick recap. You kept away the undesirables, patted down the rest for weapons, and kept your cool. Yep. That is to say, you performed as instructed, 
Simon was impressed, and so am I. So you get a small bonus with your normal pay. Unfortunately, I found someone else with a little more experience, and he'll take over the position starting tomorrow. However, another task has come up that I could use some help with, assuming you're still interested in making some money. Sure, keep talking. There's a deal that we've been working on for a while now, and the buyer would like a sample of our weapons. I need you to run a package out to a discreet location that the client has chosen. Sound good? I can do that. Good. Here's the package. I'll mark the location on your map. The buyer said they'd be in town for quite a while, so there's no rush. That said, try not to dawdle. This client could mean big money for us, which naturally means big money for you. I like the sound of that. Catch you later, Simon. Welcome to the Silver Rush. Is it Boone? Is Boone who you've got? Is that a quest? It is a quest. I know I'm getting distracted, but let's do that one. Oh, it's way out of town. And it is night time. No, let's let's stick with this. Let's go see Benny, because that's probably going to open up some more stuff. Or I'm going to die. Or Benny's going to die. Evening. You want to get your hands on some of the deadliest weapons around? Head just down the street to the Silver Rush. Want to get up. lucky? Head on down to the Atomic Wrangler. Hey, baby. Where's the Atomic Wrangler? Atomic Wrangler, if you want to have a good time. Oh, the Atomic Wrangler. Yeah, I was thinking they were a, a weapons merchant. They're not a weapons merchant, are they? The Kings. School of Impersonation. Howdy. You new to Freeside? Haven't seen you around. If they're playing Elvis, we're going to have to leave. Word is the leader of the fiends got taken down. He did. I would have done it myself if he ever had the courage to step into Freeside. What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Who's the king? Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? In Freeside, the kings rule. And the king rules the kings, got it? Yeah, I'd like to see the king if possible. Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? I'm new in town. I just wanted to pay my respects. You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Yep. Head on That's exactly what I meant. King's the bored-looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. Thanks. He has a robo dog. And he's not even looking at the stage. Hey, Rex. The king. Look, Rexy. Someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? <laughs> I was hoping you might have some work for me. Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? Sound good. I'm listening. I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? Yes. It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fella named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Sure. Okay then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. Hey, he's okay, this guy. GR Blues. This is going to be an Elvis-style questline, isn't it? This is going to be cool.
I don't want to lose Boone. That's the only problem. Because Boone has all my weapons. But I guess it's not the end of the world. We'll be able to pick him up again, I'm sure. You want me to go through there? Obviously you do. Hi. Thank God the followers are here. I'd probably be dead now if it weren't for their doctors. The followers? Who are the followers? Strip Northgate. Welcome to the strip. You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Why wouldn't I want to go past the greeter? Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. Thanks for the free advice. Who are you? The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. What's your story? I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. That's very nice of you. Courier? I used to be a courier before I got shot in the head. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. <laughs> Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. Butcher? How'd you get into that? My father ran a butcher shop here in town. But business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. Sounds odd. You're telling me. Not long after my father's shop went under, and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. It was a local Sick butcher. gradually went insane and passed away. Wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying told you so. Cryer? What was that job? After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That's cool. That didn't last long. What happened? Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. Hmm. Wrong place at the wrong time, if you ask me. Yeah, shit indeed happens. I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. You said escort, like armed guard? Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, oh. escort just sounds better than man whore. So you got paid for sex? Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. Going for hire? When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living. And I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again. And after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. Nice. So what do you do now? All right. Uh, nothing then. Bye. Talk to you later. I feel like he's setting me up for something. Be a good idea to save if they're going to start shooting. Howdy, partner. Submit to a credit check or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Two thousand credits for a credit check. Credit check. What's that for? Admission to the strip requires an official passport or proof that you are carrying the required minimum balance. 
These policies prevent less reputable persons from entering and ensure a good time will be had by all who enter the strip. So I just need more than 2,000. Okay, I'll submit to a credit check. Thank you, sir. You may proceed. Thanks. Um, he's not going to get up, is he? Move along. Enter the strip. We finally made it. Wow. Howdy, okay, music. I saw you get killed. Alright, first of all. No, wrong thing. That's got to go. It's just not worth it. I thought you were destroyed. Do I look destroyed, partner? <laughs> it's harder to put old Vic in Boot Hill than you might think. I wouldn't be much use stuck inside just one Securitron. Ah, uh, no, okay. The one I'm in turns up a goner. I just find another. Fine as cream gravy. What are you doing here? Consider me your personal welcome wagon. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Is he? Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. Why is a robot passing on his invitation? Well, now, it was Mr. House who made Securitrons like me. Oh. Seems the least I can do is pass on his message. Don't dawdle. He'll be waiting. Sure. Gonna have words with your commanding officer after this. NCR. Why do you call it a monorail? It's a train. I guess that's where I'm going first. Hey there, friend. A bit of advice. You look like you could use some protection. Lucky for you, I got what you need. My stock and trade? All kinds of easy-to-hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't give you a second glance. Easy-to-hide weapons? Things guards can't spot when they're patting you down or checking for iron at your hip. Why would I need to hide a weapon on me? Simple. You can't bring guns into the casino, that's why. They'll strip you to your fists. Sure, they say you get it all back when you leave. Me? I don't like being without a little insurance when it's my caps on the table. Let's see what you have. Take a look at these beauties. So I don't have any of this stuff. We did have a load of silenced pistols. Take the silence pistol. Mind to throw you all in a cell and let you sweat it off. And do that. Can we mod it? No. Who are you? What's up? Who are you? Hey, baby. There's more of this waiting for you. I like what I see. I swear, the monorail is just ahead. So fucked up. They ain't gonna be making it back to base. Come on then, Vic. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Thank you, Victor. I see you brought a friend. Sorry, partner, but they're gonna have to stay outside. No problem. I'll head up by myself. Come back soon now. Stay here. Don't make a mess. 
Well, look, he's 38. Where to, partner? Penthouse, I guess. There's a lot of victors around here. Floor. Thanks. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. What can you tell me about Mr. House? Why, sugar? He's the maximum utmost. If it weren't for Mr. House, we wouldn't have this fabulous wonderland of New Vegas, would we? I didn't realize robots had strong feelings about people. Sugar, I may be a robot on the outside, but on the inside, my neurocomputational matrix is an exact copy of Mr. House's favorite girl. So you're a copy of a dead woman? What exactly do you do for Mr. House? Mr. House has a lot of needs, Sugar. I take care of all of them, and a lady doesn't kiss and tell. Is this like that Baldur's Gate 3 stream from yesterday with the bear? Sounds like you're pretty far. Uh, uh, that's Anything no. you like, sugar. Let's go. Enjoy your time in Vegas. I don't know if I should be in here, so we're going to save it. Fancy place. There's not a right lot here, though. I can just take that. Sure. A new Coca Cola. That's cool. Apparently I can sleep here as well. And take any of this stuff. Mr. House? Boys? This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? Has You've it? You've come a long ways. Literally, and I suspect figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? I've never seen anything like this before. Of course you haven't. Vegas always was one of a kind. What you see down on the strip is What's just going on here? of the city's former glory, and yet more than an echo. I preserved its spirit. Or perhaps you were referring to the Lucky 38? The years haven't been kind to her, but still she manages to impress. Why the VIP treatment? I'm just a courier. Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. But I don't know what game I'm playing. Let's get down to business then. The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Simple enough. What do you propose? My only concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Thousand caps. I accept your terms. Well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? I return when I have the chip. Until then. Uh, 
Huh. I was kind of expecting that after they said that he'd built the Cybertron things. Securitrons. But, I still don't know what this chip is. We still need to speak to Benny, which I guess this points us towards. Which is fine. But we just, we just don't know anything. Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, nice. you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. Residential suite. Let's see what these digs are like. I roll her sweet. Which I'm assuming is that one. Upgrade suite. Ah. Interesting. Let's throw in a workbench. All of this is mine, right? Holy crap! This whole level is mine. But I'm under guard. I need to work on the science. Uh, okay. So why do we need this place? It's nice, don't get me wrong. And you know what we're going to do? We'll upgrade it all. Because we may as well, right? So I can now put weapons in here. And we can put wardrobe stuff in. I can... We can throw on... Okay, where's Boone? Because everything that Boone's carrying, I can do, we can fast travel here, right? Well, I don't need to carry around the repeater anymore. Um, I'll keep it, but I don't need to carry around the driver. I don't need all of these eyeglasses. I don't need that, but we'll keep that. 